Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. Root a plus root negative a is equal to 32. Our job is to find all possible values of a. So, let's start by moving this root a to the right hand side. So, this will become root negative a is equal to 32. This a positive root a will become negative root a at right hand side. Now we square both sides of this equation. So this square will be considered with this square root and at left hand side we are left with negative a is equal to by using this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared. This will become 32 squared minus 2 times 32 times root a plus root a squared. Now, this square will be considered with this square root and this will become negative a is equal to 32 squared is 1024 minus 2 times 32, 64 times root a plus this will become a. Now, we move this plus a to the left hand side. So, this will become negative a minus a is equal to 1024 minus 64 times root a. And this negative a minus a will become negative 2 times a is equal to from these two terms we can factor out 2 in bracket left 512 minus 32 times root a. Now we divide both sides by 2. So, this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2. And this equation will become negative a is equal to 512 minus 32 times root a. Now, we move this negative a to the right hand side and this negative 32 times root a to the left hand side. So, this will become positive 32 times root a is equal to this negative a will become positive a at right hand side plus this 512 and from here we square both sides of this equation. So, this will become 32 squared times root a squared is equal to by using this algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This a plus 512 whole squared will become a squared plus 2 times a times 512 plus 512 squared. Now, this 32 squared is 1024 times this square will be cancelled out with this square root and here we are left with a is equal to a squared plus 2 times a times 512 will become 1024 times a plus 512 squared. And if we subtract 1024a uh, from both sides, this will cancel out. And this will become a squared plus 512 squared is equal to 0. We move this uh, 512 squared to the right hand side. This will become a squared is equal to negative 512 squared. And from here, we take square root of both sides. 
So this uh, square will be considered with this uh, square root and we are left with a is equal to plus or minus this uh, square root of uh, negative 512 squared can be written as a uh, square root of uh, 512 squared times square root of negative 1 and this will become a is equal to plus minus this uh, square will be considered with this square root and here we are left with 512 and this uh, square root of negative 1 square root of uh, negative 1 is equal to i so this will become 512 times i it means uh, we get uh, two values of a a is equal to positive 512 i and second value of a is equal to negative 512 i now let's uh, verify these values of a see that whether they are solutions or not. The original equation is uh, root a plus root negative a is equal to 32. First we replace uh, this a and this a with this value 512 i. So this will become square root of uh, 512 i plus square root of negative 512 i is this equal to 32. Now this uh, root 512 i can be written as uh, square root of uh, 256 times 2 i plus square root of this uh, negative 512 i can be written as uh, 256 times negative 2 i is this equal to 32 now this will become root 256 times root 2 i plus uh, this will become root 256 times root negative 2 i is this equal to 32. Now this the square root of 256 will become 16 times this square root of 2 i plus this the square root of 256 will become 16 times the square root of this negative 2 i is this equal to 32. Now we can factor out 16 from these two terms. 16 as common factor and in back left root 2 i plus root negative 2 i is this equal to 32. Next, 16 times this uh, square root of 2 uh, i can be written as uh, square root of we already have 2 uh, i so we write here 2 i and we add 1 and we subtract 1 plus uh, this uh, square root of negative 2 i uh, can be written as uh, square root of we already have a negative 2 i and we add 1 and we subtract 1 is this equal to 32 next 16 times square root of this 1 can be written as 1 squared plus this 2 i can be written as 2 times 1 times i and this negative 1 negative 1 is equal to i squared so we write this negative 1 as uh, i squared plus square root of this one can be written as uh, 1 squared minus this 2i can be written as uh, 2 
times 1 times i. And this uh, negative 1 can be written as i squared. So, we write here i squared. Is this equal to 32? Next, 16 times square root of by using this algebraic identity a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared. This expression will become 1 plus i whole squared plus square root of by using this algebraic identity a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared is equal to a minus b whole squared. This expression inside the square root will become 1 minus i whole squared. Is this equal to 32? Now, this uh, square will be cancelled out with this square root, this square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root. And this will become 16 times uh, 1 plus i plus 1 minus i. Is this equal to 32? And this negative i will be cancelled out with this positive i. And this will become 16 times uh, 1 plus 1, 2 is this equal to 32 and 16 times 2 is 32 is equal to 32. You can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. It means this value of a 512i is a valid solution. In the same way if we verify this value of a negative 512i this is also a valid solution. So, we have uh, two solutions of uh, this equation.